Hello everyone, so I welcome you all to another video of a lecture series where we are going to look at another problem. So the problem statement is linkless cycle income. So let's uh, first of all read the description of the problem. So it goes like uh, given a head, the head of a link list determines the link list of the cycle link. This cycle in the link list, if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. It will be false as you should remove the index of the node that is next point is connected to. Alright. So we have to just get into the cycle in the link list, otherwise, it will be false. So let's look at this example. If you do next, 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 and if we reach the end of the node, according to simply link list, its next should be null. But here it is pointing towards the position 1. So that means there is a loop here. Right. Similarly, so if it is here, and since there is no loop here, our output is false. Right. So, first thing is how to uh, solve this question. Right. Let me clear it a bit. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like, first question that comes in mind is how to do it. Right. So, I can see the first method, which is a very nice method, which we may come in on time, is hashing. Alright. Uh, see, if you don't know about hashing yet, I'll show it in a later video, but if anyone knows about it, you can watch it, otherwise you can skip for the partition method. So, basically in hashing, what we can do is, we can make a set All right, of nodes. Yes. Right. Now, uh, now we are just going to have a point of here. We are going to point which is currently pointed towards A. And we will say while curl is not equal to null, we will like curl to curl next. Alright, like you know what the loop is going to be. And then we are going to insert every element, insert every LA uh, in our curve. Okay. And before doing this, we are going to check if this element that is L.find curve is already present in it or not. If it is already present, that means we have. Uh, already with the dead this node, so that means there is a loop. So we will return true here. Otherwise, after uh, the whole loop, we are just simply going to return false. Right. So let's write the nice solution also, so that uh, you will have a better idea what I am talking about exactly. So here we are going to have an um, order set. Start S to have four no start curve is equal to head curve not equal to null curve is equal to curve next yes. If I say is is dot find curve is not equal to dot n, that means we have found the element we will simply return true. Otherwise we are just simply going to insert that element. And uh, then we are going to simply return false because we just cannot be loop and we haven't seen any uh, loop there. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it is going to be less mode. Less. Okay. Then it is also going to be less mode. Okay. okay. See, our output is correct. Let's transmit it. 
Yeah, so we will be correct out. So I did, that is cool. But here is one thing you should be knowing that if we use a hash, what happens is we have to use an extra space here of O of N. So it is not a very efficient solution. Right. Now let's we'll talk about an efficient solution here. Let's see how they are efficient. Okay. So efficient solution, it is a standard algo called Floyd's detection cycle. Alright. So what did I say? It's Floyd's detection cycle. Okay. So what uh, we are going to do in Floyd's detection cycle is basically we are going to have two nodes. Like suppose this is the thing one, two, three, four, and four is going to two. Okay. We are going to have two pointers here. One pointer is fast, one pointer is slow. Alright. And both are pointing towards uh, head. Okay. Now we are going to increment fast by two nodes. And we are going to increment slow by one point. So, and if at any point our uh, fast it becomes equal to slow that means there is a loop there all right so okay there is a proof of Floyd's detection cycle which includes your mathematical induction process so i don't think so you need that so we'll be sticking to uh, just knowing that if fast becomes equal to slow we'll have a loop that means we detected a loop okay. So let's try and do that thing. Alright. So let us tell you we are going to have two nodes. One is going to be fast, one is going to head. We are going to have another slow, we are going to point towards head. Alright. Now I'm saying why fast is not equal to null and fast makes to not equal to null what we are going to do here is we are going to move slow as slow next and fast as fast next Alright, um, we say if slow is equal to fast, we have another loop, so we will do here. Okay, uh, but otherwise, we are simply going to return false. Let's run this code, let's see if it works. Okay, I expect. It is accepted. Let's submit it. Yeah, okay. We are getting the right output here. Okay, that's right. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. You learned about cycle uh, loop detection. In the lectures, we talked about two methods here Ashen and efficient method for its detection cycle. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. And see you later.